Get protected today at shieldmutual.com. Hi there, Shield Mutual customers. I hope you're having a beautiful day. This is George Donnelly coming to you again with the weekly uh, video update for the week of July 15th. It's been a busy week here at Shield Mutual. We are uh, continue to grow. We're above 50 paying customers now. Um, that's um, quite a, a satisfying milestone. Um, we're still quite small, but um, it's the trend that matters. Uh, the forums, um, I am going to do absolutely everything in my power to get those forums launched this week. They are at uh, forum.shieldmutual.com. And uh, the way it's going to work, because I, I don't want a bunch of non-members uh, flooding into the forums, um, the way it's going to work is that all members, all paying members, are um, automatically, of course, have accounts. Uh, we'll have accounts. I'll be sending you um, the, uh, the password information for that. And uh, each member will have, I think, one or two um, invitations per month that you can send out to somebody who is not a member, but who you would like to be on the forums. Um, let's see, this month it'll probably just be one or two. I don't know, if you want me to, to give you more in invites for the future, I'm open to that idea. Uh, I do need uh, one or two moderators to help me, um, you know, keep the forums, um, you know, I mean, uh, organized. So if you're interested in being a moderator, um, please let me know. Uh, you should be somebody I already know pretty well. Um, and let's see, uh, let's see, people that you invite probably won't get any invites for now. Uh, any any invites that they could send out to others, but um, as the forum um, you know grows, I'm, gonna, I'm looking to expand that. Uh, the forum does have a section that is only for Shield Mutual members, and that section will remain, and we can even expand that part. But I also want to have a section that is not, uh, sorry, that is available to uh, the general public uh, to read and to selected friends of ours to to participate to comment as well um, because um, I just think it's it's better that way we bring more people in and eventually in the future it may be completely open to the general public once we've established kind of a, a culture uh, constructive culture for our forums um, so it's forum.shieldmutual.com and um, I mean it's already up it's practically ready uh, I just have to um, finish up a few things and send out uh, invitations um, the forum is professionally hosted, um, uh, so I think that it's going to be robust enough to, to do uh, whatever we need to do. And I think it'll be a fun place for us to, to strategize and come up with new business ideas and new ways of thinking, new ideas, and for you to give feedback um, to Shield Mutual. One of the things that I hope for the forum is that it's going to become kind of a, a, an agorist mastermind group. Um, this is a Dale Carnegie thing where we bring together people who are passionate about, passionate about agorism and um, together we support each other um, and who knows what could come out of that, uh, bringing together uh, really good, intelligent, uh, caring, passionate people uh, in one place, um, magical things can happen. So um, I'd like to talk to you today about the urgency of preparation. Um, you know, um, your life revolves around you. And when governments attack, what happens is outside of your direct control. Uh, now, I just want to make clear my intention in this video is to help you prepare for a situation when um, a government, um, you know, agent or agency or whatever may attack you. But my intention is not to scare you in any way. Um, you know, something I've learned through my practice of Aikido is that um, you know step one in any kind of encounter is to relax yeah and if you you may notice that when you're tense your shoulders tend to go up a little bit yeah so you may want to as a relaxation thing you know bring your shoulders up and let them down yeah up down up down and just let your shoulders fall yeah uh, is that as well as the deep breathing um, that uh, you know you can pra easily practice as part of a yoga or meditative routine are are really good, really good for helping uh, relax because the best decisions are not made when you're tense. The best decisions are made when you are relaxed. Um, 
yeah, so, um, so step one, point one that I'd like to hit on is constant preparation. Uh, I, you know, on a regular basis, regular preparation. So make sure that someone close to you knows where you are, what you expect to be doing, where you expect to be going, and when you expect to check in again. Yeah, just on a regular basis kind of a thing. Um, you know, just so that if, if because some people have e emailed me concerned that uh, something may happen to them and they may not be able to get a, a message out uh, to Shield Mutual and to come to their aid. Uh, so uh, you need to have a person there on the ground uh, near you, geographically near to you, who is um, aware of your situation and will notice if you're missing. Um, so there's, that's the first one. Another thing is that proper medical care and checkup ahead of time. So if you're starting to engage in activism or even if you've been engaging it in, a, in it for a while, and I know that the healthcare system is completely screwed up, um, but do your best to get a proper medical checkup. Um, everything, you know, uh, the, the body, the eyes, the internal part, uh, blood, get your diet uh, in, in the place where you want it to be. Um, whatever diet you kind of diet you decide to um, accept or practice, um, teeth, eyes, you know the whole thing, because inside prison um, medical care sucks, yeah, and you don't want to be stuck in prison uh, with uh, like a toothache or something because I don't think that would be very much fun. Anyway, have a, an emergency fund ready for things like commissary funds, phone calls, emergency transportation for loved ones, to keep in any business that you have going, uh, and to keep bills paid in case the stay uh, in prison, in a cage, is longer than you expected. Um, in uh, prison, basically, they don't really want to give you very much. Um, you need funds in there, they're called commissary funds, in order to buy just basic things like shower sandals so you don't get a fungal infection in your feet. Um, or a sweater or an undershirt to stay warm. Because th these days they keep prisons, uh, you know, in the 50 to 60 degree range all the time uh, in order to keep infections like MRSA at bay. Um, so, and everything is overpriced. Everything is overpriced in the prison commissary. Uh, plus, you know, there could be all kinds of transportation that needs to be taken care of for your family or someone to visit you. Um, bail. Uh, usually, at, the, at, the, at least at the state level, uh, you know, you don't need to have enormous amounts of money on hand for bail because it, let's say they set $5,000 bail. With 10% of that, $500, and a bail bondsman, in a, lot of, in a lot of cases, that will get you out. Yeah, so that you can get back on top of your business or whatever. Um, prepare a plan for those close to you. Identify the one person, one, one person who will be in charge. The last thing that you want is to languish in a frigid cage while important decisions are slowly but rarely definitively uh, made by committee on the outside. Yeah? Uh, in, these, in these kinds of situations where uh, someone close to you is in prison, um, you know, it's one of the, the shoulders creep up, I mean, figuratively and literally, and everybody's freaking out like uh, chickens with their heads cut off. Um, and I, I'm not criticizing that those people uh, personally, it, it's totally understandable. Uh, happened to me. But... Um, but so that's what that's what the purpose of preparation is, so that people know what to do. Because if you're unable to communicate, and you have a group of say five or seven people close to you who are in contact, but they're not talking to you and they don't know what you want, they are. Um, there's a good chance that they are going to be paralyzed and not do anything uh, because they don't know what you want them to do. Yeah. And that, that is the absolute worst situation. Decision by committee is no decision at all. And, and it rarely is the, is the decision that you want going to come out of there. Yeah. Unless you prepare them. Uh, various contingency plans, such as, um, you know, for an obvious political charge, uh, serious charge that, you know, you think they might be able to, to prove. 
Uh, you need to have various contingency plans for that, you know. So, for example, if it's an obvious political charge, um, you may want to, your decision may be to stay, uh, stay inside, not cooperate, and, uh, you, you know, just to put pressure on them and, and that we put pressure on them from the outside. Uh, if it's a more serious charge, um, that they may have evidence to back it up, whether it's a... Um, you know, a victimless crime or any other crime, crime, um, you know, you may have a different plan. You may want to handle that differently. You may want to get bailed out. You may want funds raised for a lawyer, yeah? So you need to think about these things, uh, and you need to have contingency plans in place for them. Um, and uh, my final recommendation to prepare um, for worst case, the worst-case scenario of a uh, government attack is to record a video introducing yourself, what you're all about, your position on the whole violence, nonviolence thing, because that's usually of interest to government um, decision makers. You know, they want to know if an activist is violent or not, and that will influence their decision. Uh, your motivations for holding your beliefs, and um, make sure that I have your bio on, and headshots on file, um, you know, at Shield Mutual. Uh, the video thing is good because it can show you as a human being in the context of your family at a time when all that uh, the government might be saying is, you know, X, Y, Z charge and it's serious and he's facing years in prison and here's a picture of him in his, in his uh, orange jumpsuit. Um, so um, a, a video of you in a human context, perhaps with your family, perhaps with your pet, um, you know, talking about uh, the very legitimate reasons for your beliefs, um, your uh, nonviolent attitude, etc., or violent as the case may be, um, can help you. Can help you in those situations um, because the decision makers, not just in a public relations sense, not just with people who may be deciding whether to support you or not, um, but with the decision makers inside the courts because. Um, they're, they're human beings too, and they make decisions uh, partially based on their guts, and that kind of a thing can can influence them. So, uh, I hope you found this video useful. Um, please stay tuned for um, another video next week, and for any news that comes out in the meantime. Um, thanks for supporting Shield Mutual. Thanks for your interest. Have a beautiful and productive day. Get protected today at shieldmutual.com.